Believe it or not, soy is one of the most controversial food sources in the world today. Now on the other side, we are seeing a huge number of health problems associated with the consumption of this grain. New research has identified that soy consumption may cause hormone imbalances, thyroid problems, digestive disasters, and believe it or not, even cancer. But why is everyone saying that soy is one of the healthiest grains to consume? So in today's video, I'm going to reveal some of the main reasons why soy is bad for you to consume and how to avoid it to stay healthy naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to receive notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line of appointment of quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and I encourage you to stay till the end of this video where I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. The food industry has always been effective at marketing a specific food source or item when they need to. If you think about it, it doesn't really matter if it's healthy or not. In the end, it's all about selling the product they make. Now, although consumers are nowadays more aware of the dangers in certain types of foods, especially due to the production of genetically modified grains, food colorings, additives, and even toxins, there are still foods we consume in massive quantities that are extremely damaging to our health. For example, some fear that eating too much soy may increase the risk for breast cancer, hinder thyroid function, and may even have feminizing effects in men, just to name a few. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal some of the main reasons why soy is bad for you to consume and how to avoid it to stay healthy naturally and effectively. Number one, soy damages your thyroid. The thyroid is one of the most important glands in the human body. It produces two hormones that have an effect on literally every single cell in our organism, starting with the first hair on our scalp to the last nail on our toes. And simply put, it's considered to be a master gland. Now the thyroid produces two very important hormones, T3 and T4 hormones. These control the rate at which every cell in our body should function. So this means that if there's too many of these hormones, cells will be overactive and burn excess energy. And if there's too little of these, the entire body becomes underactive. Now the thyroid, believe it or not, is a very sensitive organ to certain foods, especially if you have an underactive gland. Soy is one of these foods and new test studies have seen how soy reduces thyroid function gland in our bodies. In the long run, this affects your entire system. You start to feel tired, your weight increases, your hormones go out of whack, you have memory problems, and hundreds of other processes in your body are blocked. So this is very serious. So go ahead and stay away from soy, specially processed products that come with soy and you don't even know it that you bring home. If you need something effective for thyroid function, metabolism, and energy production and more, look for Metathyroid from Fineland at drlandivar.com. Number two, soy is a hormone disruptor. Most people don't know that our hormones are one of the most important ingredients for our health. Without them, we would be entirely lost. Now, several medical schools, some of the finest in the world, like Harvard, Yale, or even Princeton, have studies that have analyzed the effects of soy as a hormone disruptor. So, isoflavones, as they call it, are thought to mimic the female reproductive hormone estrogen, and they do it in men and women alike. And although some might argue that the hormone structure is a little different, there's no doubt that it acts as estrogen in the human body. I have many patients go through terrible hormone imbalances and the only one to blame was soy. It completely changes that delicate balance and results in the eruption of acne, menstrual irregularities, infertility, and much more. So be very careful about soy and pay attention to the different types of processed foods you are bringing at home. They may contain soy. If you need something effective that can help you balance out hormone levels, look for myo-inositol if you're female and virilitize if you are male. 
Number three, soy causes digestive problems. We tend to forget that most grains today are genetically modified grains. And this, by the way, means that you may be consuming a grain that is twice as harmful, genetically modified, and toxic at the same time. Now, the worst part about soy as food is that our bodies are not well adapted to digest artificial substances like genetically modified foods. We have adapted our bodies to digest specific foods for thousands of years. Our cells, organs, and every tissue recognizes organic grains as valid sources for nutrients. Now, this becomes a problem if we modify the DNA structure of these foods from one day to the next and start consuming them, ignoring that something very, very important has changed. Our digestive system is not prepared to digest these genetically modified grains, soy, any other grain that might cause a problem. If you consume them, you might see allergic reactions, rhinitis, asthma, among many other serious health conditions. So stay away from these foods. Number four, it's a danger to our babies. If we put together everything I'm telling you about soy, you can imagine how bad this can be for our babies. Some researchers fear that soy formulas may negatively affect the brain, the sexual function, thyroid, and immune development of babies and children. We have to consider the fact that soy is high in phytoestrogens, a hormone that most definitely should not be elevated in infants. And there's more because soy is an anti-nutrient that can lead and exacerbate growth problems and learning disabilities in children due to the thyroid blocking. And lastly, most people don't know that thyroid is a disruptor of hormone function. A disruptor of thyroid, the master gland that produces the correct amount of hormones necessary for the proper development of our children. So I don't know about you, but soy is definitely not a good option for young people, especially during that age where they have to grow and develop properly. Number five, soy increases your risk for cancer. This is actually something many people are not saying about soy. And believe it or not, the food industry is using soy for practically everything. They put it in most of our packaged goods, cans, foods, etc. Some researchers believe that soy isoflavones have the power to raise the risk for breast cancer and endometrial cancer. Once again, don't forget that soy is a hormone disruptor that comes into direct collision against women's and men's reproductive organs. And what's even more impressive and worse is how soy might even change the amount of estrogen produced by males. In some cases, it might even reduce fertility levels with respect to testosterone balance. And by the way, if you want to balance out those hormones, try to help your liver do the job. The liver is in charge of balancing estrogen and other hormones in your body and does a great job detoxifying your system. If you need something effective that can help you do a very good liver cleanse and help that liver do its job, look for Thistle Lessons from Finland at drlandivar.com. And help out the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or a line in a point, visit drlandivar.com and check out these other videos related to this topic. You can find valid information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.